All right, everybody. Sorry about that. Um, I know a lot of you were joining us right now in the live feed and we got cut off. If you can rejoin us right now, um, let's see if I can bring people back on. Um, I'm going to bring Lou back on. Let's see. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. All right, everybody. I'm going to bring Lou back on for the closing. Um, I hate this what Instagram does. They cut you off so fast. Thank you, everybody, for reading. Join. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hold <laughs> on. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can bring in a couple, a couple more people. Let's see. Uh, uh, well, at least they came back, so I'm not... Yeah, confused. it's great. Um, yeah. Hey, everybody, thank you so much for coming back. Um, no, I, I, I hate that because you know what happens is I usually think that we have enough time, and then what, what they do is they give you like... 30 seconds all of a sudden instead of giving you like a five minute clock or something like hey this is the five minutes and then you bring people like seconds. me on who talk too fucking much <laughs> <laughs> it's me but you know what it's to me it's you're sharing your time you're giving your time and i want to make sure that you get your time and and that's yes. the most important thing and i really appreciate well, I've had a wonderful that time so far so yeah thank you five thank you suck, though. <laughs> <laughs> but as as we end this, like I said, if you could just elaborate on that question one more time. And, oh, yeah. So yeah. I think it was, um, I feel like people should just just fight for it. Um, like, not even just women, just like any anybody in general. I know we're like focusing on like, ah, uh, women, LGBTQ, which is, you know, me and all this stuff. But I think it's just like people in general should, should, should fight for something that they really want to do. It's really, really hard to put yourself out there and like, possibly be denied 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 which i did for like two years like hey i can't pay you that much you have no experience all this other shit and i was just like well that sucks but like i'm not gonna leave this doorstep so i'm just gonna keep fighting for it and do all this stuff and something like that is like yes our industry is dominated by men which is just so crazy to me because there there was a time in history where only women were allowed to brew beer no no one else was allowed to touch this shit but us we were the only ones trusted to make good alcohol and then, like, out of nowhere, it just became this industry that just got dominated by the opposite sex. And we want to be a part of it. We want to be respected in it. We, wanted, we want people to know that, like, we are strong enough to compete in it. And that just goes for anybody who also isn't generally the general, you know, white demographic of, like, the brewing industry, which people can be – it can come off very um, – uh, what's the word for it? Just – unapproachable the industry be, can become very very unapproachable very quick when it's the same demographic every time you go into a brewery and i think it makes a difference when you see women in the back and you see uh, like bipoc and other people like that like just kind of like commanding the space and i think people need to constantly fight for it like if you really really like it you should do it because like right. i didn't know what the fuck i was going to do when i moved out to california i fell in love with this industry and even though i didn't have any experience i was just like i know i can be a powerful presence i know i can kill it i know i can maybe make good beer and even if i didn't i would still be front of house managing things just like being charged stuff and like just commanding a team and knowing my shit about what i do and i do i've always i started off as managing i came here as an assistant brewer and then they wouldn't let me brew anymore for a year and I just managed to take care of everything but I knew everything was here and I think it brought a lot of people back like keeping a presence and like being fr being in front of everybody like not getting the same bearded guy every time you go to <laughs> <laughs> no offense to bearded guys they look great our, yeah. our, our, our bartender right now is a bearded guy so. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know you know what I mean it's just like it, it yeah, can no. be, it can be hard to like present yourself and be part of something that you feel like you, you don't fit into it, but like everybody fits into this industry. If you love beer or you love wine or you love spirits or anything like that, you fit in here. It doesn't matter. Yeah. And I really want people to like feel that and know it and like just want to fuck, fucking do it. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're doing your, and, and right there, what you just said, you actually gave that answer about, you know, what would you like to do as far as the community? You just gave that answer because this is everything that you want to do. You want to, that you want to be, that you want to be a part of, that you want to show when people come into your brewery mm -hmm. and they taste your beers, that you want to feel welcome and you want to feel this, this different presence. And that is it. That is important. I would go there. 
every day if I was there. You know, yeah. that is just the thing. I that, come here every and, day, even on my days off. <laughs> even on the days off. This is my day off. You know that, right? <laughs> Well, you know, again, I, I, I thank you so much for your time. Your time you. is, I, I just appreciate your time and what you've done. And thank you so much for sharing your story. And you can find more on Lou's story on my page. You could actually see her bio. It's a very short bio, only like, it's, this, it's so this short. Short, it's like, like you can't even day. fit it on the screen. <laughs> is there another person for this? It's so, so small. When I put it on the, the Facebook page or the Instagram page, I was like, is it going to fit? It's so, it's so <laughs> you're, you're breaking like the 250 word limit or something. <laughs> There's no, no more hashtags. <laughs> I, 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 lo I love it though. But, you know, keep on doing what you're doing. Like I said, I you're, 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 you're a trailblazer for, you know, all the people out there, whether you're, you know, a female, male, you know, just getting into the industry, it, you're at the crossroads. This is this is the time where we really need to make voices heard, and your voice yeah. is a great voice. And I, I really appreciate it in any way that I I can to continue to help support um, yourself and and the brewery. You know, I'm I'm all about it. I I'm gonna I'm so excited to try every one of these beers. I know you're gonna um, have to message me and be like, which one you hated and which one you loved. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna have to be like, hey, this one was good, but this one's straight trash. And I'm like, you better tell me. <laughs> I can fix that shit. And I, I will. I will tell you. I will tell you. But you know what? One of the the good things is is hey, my wife. My wife is a total beer drinker. That was one of the first things. Our first date was at Disney, and we had beer on our first date. And when she pulled out a nice. Uh, I think it was a, a pale ale. I was like, okay, this is a girl that I, I want to like. You pull out a knife, but then you had more. <laughs> like, it's a nice pale ale. I was like, wow, this is a <laughs> Yeah, no, my wife digs beer. She loves beer. And I think it's going to be nice to, to taste it all and, and, and give you feedback. But I don't think I'll give you anything bad about it because I, I, the wolf is just just dynamic, delicious. Don't forget, everyone, if you're in the California area, in the North County area, you could go to, to Bear Roots Brewing Company in Vista, near the Vista Village, um, near downtown Vista, um, and go visit her and definitely support her. Thank you. You know, keep, you got to support her. Support, keep on supporting and support that brewery. Okay? Well, thank you so much, Lou, for your time sharing your story and we'll, we got to do this again we got to do this again absolutely check me next year when i have medals around my neck like, <laughs> <laughs> all right all right until next time i'll see you lou thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> cheers so thank you so much everyone that joined us today um remember this the show is not really just, a, it's not about me. It's about the ambassador out there. We are sharing these am uh, uh, amazing ambassadors that are industry. And we've, we've highlighted, we had a whole month of, of female uh, ambassadors, whether they're winemakers and brewers. Now we're out of that area and we're still continuing here on breaking bread. We celebrate women every day and every day that we can. And so thank you for your support. If you can follow me, keep on uh, joining me. Uh, we have some great interviews coming up. Um, I hope you can join me on that. And don't forget to support Lou uh, and follow her. She is uh, Boise Bovine. Bo Boozy Bovine. That's what it is. Boozy Bovine. I always butcher every name that I came up with. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for your time, for joining us. Um, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Cheers.